Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at the smear campaign against your girl Wendy Williams is at an all-time high. The things that are coming out about her now could have come out months ago. It's not like the lawsuit is over and now word can get out. Word on the curb is that there's a machine that's paying to get negative press out about Wendy in hopes to paint her in a horrible light to make us better appreciate Sherry and her show that premieres in September. First, it was the Hollywood Reporter article. Now they are saying Wendy's son took $100,000 from her and that's what started the Wells Fargo guardianship ordeal. I got the real tea and I waited a few days to see if I could spill it, but I'm not waiting anymore. Y'all are gonna get served today. We are going to get into this situation, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. When it comes to these Hollywood streets and their secrets, things are never truly as they appear. When our favorite stars are out of the limelight for some time and then all of a sudden you start seeing them every damn where, know something is up. Think about it, how long was Wendy MIA? Now all of a sudden you can't turn on the computer or your phone without seeing some wild story about her. Now the stories are getting more wild and she's been seen a lot more frequently and a lot more belligerent now that the Sherry show is approaching. I have a lot of people in the comments saying that this is not just alcohol. They feel like Wendy is being heavily medicated and I agree. Now when I read the article from the Hollywood Reporter last week, we became aware that Wendy's attorney helping her to regain funds from Wells Fargo is no longer on the case because of what they're referring to as a conflict of interest. Now attorney LaShawn Thomas, who is also Kelvin Hunter's attorney, took to Twitter to say this. To be clear, there was no conflict of interest. The judge in Wells Fargo did not want me on the case because I couldn't be bought. Some people are being bought in this situation. I wonder who. I would never stand by and watch my client be taken advantage of. So they did everything to get me out of the picture, including threatening to report me to the Florida bar if I communicated with my client. Their goal was to get Wendy back to New York to control her. Wendy was doing well in Florida with her son. She was on the men, seeing her doctors every day, exercising and having coherent conversations. Person you see today is vastly different from the person you saw in videos from Florida. She has been isolated and I have done everything in my power to assist her. I have filed a complaint with FINRA against Wells Fargo. I filed a complaint against the judge for her improper actions. I have reported the illegal use of her credit card by her former manager when he hired his attorney to file the guardianship petition to the NYPD. Unfortunately, I cannot continue to pursue these actions as I have been impeded in my attempts to communicate with Wendy by the court. They don't want us to see a healthy Wendy, hence the court's threats to sanction me if I spoke to the media or to Wendy. The court has improperly impeded all communication between Wendy and my office despite full knowledge that I represent Wendy in another case before a new New York court. It is impossible for me to represent a client that I cannot speak to. So no, there was and is no conflict of interest related to my representation of Wendy in this proceeding. So y'all riddle me this, where is this conflict of interest coming from? So much so that attorney LaShawn Thomas was taken off of Wendy's team and Wendy was obviously left to her lonesome. I don't even know who's representing this lady at this point, but whoever it is, things definitely aren't getting handled now. The Guardian was supposed to last until July. Things were gonna get reanalyzed child we're almost in September and that guardian is still on Wendy's account now I spoke to attorney Thomas myself and she had a lot to say I'm not gonna go into all of the details however I will say this according to her there was a certain manager that's no longer Wendy's manager that was receiving money from a certain account manager who's no longer Wendy's account manager upwards to like tens of thousands of dollars this manager who is no longer Wendy's manager was also receiving money from Wendy's American Express card without her knowledge and Wendy was being taken advantage of by her entire team. They were afraid that if LaShawn was involved, which she was, she would allow Kelvin to get back in and if that happened, the whole scam was going to be exposed. They saw LaShawn as the person that was cracking the code. I think LaShawn is kind of like me when it comes to her investigative skills. If not, she got somebody else looking it up for her, but LaShawn was getting down to the nitty gritty. Wendy is a very smart person. Whatever Wendy's being given, if she's being given something, has her not in her right mind. You've all said it, it's not just alcohol. And I don't think it's drugs. I think it's something else. 
can't say what it is. I don't know. Hi. Okay. I'm going to core club. Immediately. Okay. This is a real win. I wanted it so big that it looks fake. It's not fake. Not at all. <laughs> Have a good night. By the way, my next destination is Core Club. Okay. Get my money. Correct. Good luck with that. Y'all can look at that lady, look at her eyes, and know good and darn well that ain't alcohol, and that ain't no lymphedema, and that ain't no Graves' disease. That's stupid. Use your common sense. All I know is that I was told that they thought LaShawn was going to be the gateway to get Kelvin back in. And once Kelvin got back in, if he did get back in, he was going to cut all that mess out. LaShawn is not one of those attorneys to play games. Once she got involved, everything was going to get exposed. So the only way to stop that from happening was to get her out of the picture. LaShawn advised me that Wendy looked better when she was in Florida, and I agree. Wendy was actually more thicker. Wendy's eyes didn't look the same way. Wendy was on the men, and according to LaShawn, both her and little Kevin had their own doctors that they had Wendy going to. Wendy rushed back to New York thinking she could save a show, and when she did, everything changed. Wendy wasn't making sense. Wendy's losing weight. Wendy doesn't look the same. What happened? I do know that when you're in the Holly Weird streets, there's a big machine and different celebrities are inside of that machine and they help that machine to run. When those pieces no longer work, they no longer have use for you. Things start magically happening to you. Typically with black celebrities in the black community, it always is attributed to some type of drug or narcotic or some type of alcoholism. Truth is, sometimes you're worth more to the machine dead than you are alive, especially if you're no longer making money for the machine. Not saying that Wendy hasn't done her stuff in the past. She's told us about all of it. Alcohol, drugs, you name it. She's told us about it. I've just never seen Wendy like this. And from what I'm being told by different people close to this situation, there's a lot of stories put out there trying to tear Wendy down. Speaking of that, let's get into the story about little Kevin allegedly taking $100,000 from his mama's American Express card. Y'all done lost your mind. One thing you don't do is mess with somebody's child. Wendy might not be able to take up for him right now, but y'all gonna make that vegan eating Kevin turn into a meat eater and gobble y'all asses up. Keep playing with this man's child. Keep playing with Wendy's child. Y'all went too far with this one, but here we go. So this according to The Sun, Wendy Williams' son, Kevin Hunter Jr., spent $100,000 on his mother's American Express card before Wells Fargo froze the Ellen Host accounts. Sources close to the former daytime talk show host exclusively revealed to the U.S. Sun that Kevin ran up a huge tab on her dime in the months before Wendy's brokerage accounts with supposed millions of dollars were frozen in January. Kevin Jr. spent around $100,000 on Wendy's personal American Express card. This was her own American Express specifically. The source goes on to say that the car that Kevin used was different than the one that her ex-manager, Bernie Young, used to hire attorney Carolyn Wolf. We gotta look at context clues because Wendy said that's no longer her manager. Will said that's no longer her manager because he's the manager, but whoever sent this is saying that Bernie is still the manager. Y'all have to look at context clues, I'm trying to tell you. Take a listen at who's behind the story. I'm telling you, when people put things out there, Certain words, you can look and see exactly who's putting it out there and why. They're saying that Kevin was demanding that Wendy's advisor pay the bill instead of Wendy. In a statement given to the U.S. Sun, Kevin Jr. said, I vehemently deny any allegations of unauthorized use of my mother's American Express card. This is a false narrative perpetuated to justify freezing her accounts. I know you better tell her. Y'all, this story is just too much. I know that baby did not steal anything from his mother. I'm sure his mother let him use the card. Wendy, that's her only son. Anything Lil Kev won't, Lil Kev can get. Don't get it twisted. Child, it's so much that y'all don't know about this story. Wendy has some vultures in the mix that are very close to her, or at least I thought would have been very close to her. Wendy, and I think she know exactly who I'm talking about. Keep your eyes open. Trust nobody but your baby. Child, before I get into all of that, because I'm not doing it, Y'all tell me what you think about everything going on with Miss Wendy Williams. What do you think about people putting these stories out there and putting them out there right before this September premiere of the Sherry Shepherd show? What do you think about everything the attorney had to say? As well as what do you think about them putting out this story about Lil Kev? Child, they done lost their mind. Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. 
Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.